Hi folks, my name is Mike and I will show you today how to use Nux and Blender together. It's quite straightforward process, so let's get to the point. First of all, let's go to the www.evermotion.org and download Nux. Uh, it's under this tab and we can go and press download Nux button or go to downloads on Evermotion site. Let's download Nox installer. You don't need to be registered, as you can see. And run the installer. Accept the agreement. Read it, of course. I will not install redistributables because I've got them, but if you install Nox for the first time, I recommend to install those. Okay, now we can run our Nox. It's here, but before we do it, uh, we should uh, get our Blender plugin. And it's loca uh, located in a Nox folder where you, in where you installed Nox. So you can go to this folder and find subfolder Blender. And you will not have this folder, I already unpacked it. But you will have just this file. So extract and cut this folder and we have to paste it to blender scripts the, uh, folder so let's go to blender and uh, blender folder wait a while and it's here 2.70 scripts add-ons and let's paste the folder okay our render nox folder is in here so we can run blender now and let's go to user preferences first i will enable my screencast case so you will know what I am doing. Okay. Let's go to user preferences again and let's find Nox. Render Nox render, it's our add-in. And you need to make sure it's uh, of course checked. Save user settings and you can choose now after you restart Blender, Nox render from the list. Uh, to render uh, in Nox, you need three things. First is camera, and Nox uh, can use uh, Blender camera, as you can see. You need an object, and you need a light. Nox uses only geometry uh, that em uh, has got emitter material. It does not use Blender lights, or uh, any point lights. Uh, you need to make some geometry and assign a material that emits photons. So let's make this. Shift and A, mesh and plane. Let's scale it. And let's move it a little farther to the top. And we uh, need to make sure that normal of this plane is pointing towards the object because light emits in the same direction as normal. So let's go to edit mode. Let's uh, click this little button that display face normals as lines and let's make a size a little bigger. Okay, so now you can see normal is pointing up. We need to rotate, rotate our object. So let's rotate in Y in 180 degrees. We can scale it down and let's assign the light material. Let's click the button of material. Let's make new material and we may, can make material either in Nox material editor by pushing this button or by just 
adding a layer and uh, adding a mission to it. Let's go to Nox Material Editor. At first, the preview window will look like this. Don't worry about it. Uh, let's uh, change our preview scene to emitter scene and render it. And it's of course black because our light is not set up yet. So we turn on the emission, we change the color of emission to something lighter, let it be white, almost white, and we change the power of emission. Let's go to over 1000 watts per square meter and let's re render preview. OK, our light is ready now, so just press OK and you can start your render. Just press F12 to run Nox. Nox starts immediately rendering and first preview will be in 10 seconds. The window will re refresh itself. And here it is. If you press F5, you will refresh it. Uh, manually. Let's see. Okay, let's add some floor. Let's move it and let's render again. Refresh manually. Okay, our scene is a little too bright. If you want, you can go back to Blender and uh, make the light a little uh, weaker or you can change the exposure value in Nox during rendering. You don't even need to stop it. So that's all folks. All the rest is uh, of course in shaders, post-production and uh, assigning materials and textures. So uh, we will cover it later. Thank you very much for watching.